with me today, we've got Prakash Hasali, the founder and CEO of Novoplexus. Hi. Welcome. And also Bill Reisacker, uh, the founder and senior medical director. So I have everything yes, right there, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. awesome. All right. So you have a very interesting story about how you met and came to come up with this company. So let's start with that, and then we'll go into a little bit more about what Novoplexus does. Yeah, so we, we are a product of the Upper East Side. Okay. So we met both doing uh, comedy at Comic Strip Live. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I, would, I would get on stage, and I would make fun of my life for 15 minutes. Then Prakash would get up for 15 minutes and make fun of my life. <laughs> And okay. out, of, out of that grew a beautiful friendship. Okay. And you're a medical doctor, right? I am a medical doctor. Ear, nose, and throat. Okay. And you do stand-up comedy on the side or as fun or sanity or what? The, for all of the above. <laughs> yes. It's wonderful. It brings out my creative side. I, I love to do it. I, I'm a student of people. I love to study people's behavior. And are you also a stand-up comedian? Or? Yes. Okay. Uh, and I, my idea is to come and basically insult other comics. So that, was the th that was basically my motivation to come. Uh, and do stand up. Comedy. Okay, well, no insulting the interviewer. So, just so we get that straight. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No. For the first two years I knew him, I didn't think he liked me. <laughs> well, I was going to say, it's good to have a sense of humor when you're starting up a company because there's a lot of frustration and exhaustion and, I mean, all the things that go with it. So, it probably keeps you sane and through you all of this. You develop a tough skin as well. Absolutely, absolutely. You yeah, we are doing. Uh, serious things, but we don't take ourselves seriously. Okay. Well, and I think it probably lays a really solid foundation, too, for the company that you have kind of this sanity and things in perspective. So, okay, so let's get to the company. So tell me what Novoplexus is. Who wants to go first, and then you can kind of add in? Go ahead. Go ahead, Bill. Well, it's a digital health tech company. Uh, basically, what it's trying to do is put all the pieces together uh, for healthcare. Right now, there's uh, a lot of issues going on with healthcare inefficiencies and, and uh, power that's maybe a little bit imbalanced, and the, the patient is sort of on the periphery mm -hmm. of the healthcare system. Oh, yeah. uh, they don't even realize that they own their own medical records. So uh, what we're trying to do on a very high level is to, is to bring the patient more into the center of their, their health care universe and really define the relationships between all the different players in the health and the wellness community, uh, the providers, the payers, the pharmacies, everybody, um, and also create uh, some very useful functions that can help people in their day-to-day -day lives. Okay, and you have complementary like, skills that brought you together and helped you create this company, so tell me about that. So, so as he mentioned that he's a doctor and I'm not, I just play one on stage. So, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so the thing is that, uh, that's absolutely the thing is that uh, he comes from a domain expert uh, expertise. I come from a technology uh, expertise and business mm -hmm. expertise, right? So, so we, uh, when we decided to uh, do this together, uh, one of the things that we wanted to use is all the latest deep technologies like blockchain and artificial intelligence and see how we can apply to the problem that he just mentioned. I always ask people to walk me through how this works. So I am, you know, have my assorted doctors and healthcare and wellness things in my life. I mean, is this an app? I mean, what's the first step that I take to be able to use Novoplexus? So the, uh, the, the providers and the, and the people on that, they do have applications that they use. And the, the beauty of the platform is that they really don't have to change a lot of what they're doing in their offices. And, okay. and the medical don't have to change. professionals don't. Right. They don't have to buy new equipment. It's really using the same equipment. It's more, more or less hooking up to that network okay. where they can get all of the services. So for, for a patient, we know all the frustrations. We've all gone to the pharmacy after getting a prescription and finding out either the pharmacy doesn't have the prescription or the prescription is too expensive. So if all the players are able to communicate in real time, the pharmacy, the doctor, the patient, then the patient can know instantaneously where, or whether that prescription is available in the pharmacy and also how much it's going to cost them out of pocket. Okay. So, so, what, so basically to get all these concepts that just Bill mentioned, we have created is a, a minimum viable product, which is a portal on which uh, a user uh, would be able to create their identity using blockchain. Okay. From there, we have created uh, is a platform that you can say is for healthcare is eBay meets uh, Craigslist meets uh, uh, you know, Amazon, where you can actually go and get services from providers mm -hmm. on the basis of your blockchain and the consolidation of EHR that we will do with, the, with that blockchain that you will be able to go get services, that you will be able to get upfront pricing. We have built as a bidding application okay. within the portal itself. I was going to ask about that, if you can price compare, say, prescriptions. Absolutely, like yes. Absolutely, okay. yes. 
and the, the nice thing about the, the platform too is it's a collaborative platform. So we're not trying to create the entire world or solve it right away. We're really looking to take the pieces of the puzzle that a lot of people are doing wonderful jobs with. Um, uh, electronic health records, um, revenue cycle management, supply chain, and really put all those pieces together. So we're not gonna create the entire thing, but we're trying to put all those pieces of the puzzle together. And you're using a lot of different technology to do this. You mentioned blockchain, but also artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. How does that all fit in? So, so one of the things uh, that you cannot do is build applications without understanding what that application will generate in terms of data. So once you understand what the data is going to be generated or the data that uses, so for example, our uh, platform will use medical records. So it, that's a lot of data. Mm -hmm. So when you have a lot of data, uh, you will be doing a disservice to your platform if you don't incorporate AI right up front. Okay, so, okay. thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you very much, Thank you so much, Nova Plexus.